he looked at me and gave me like a face of disgust. And he said, well, I guess you're just going to have to spend more money and go up to the, to the turbo model. I think salespeople in general just have to be humble, right? Like the, the ones that I'll give you an example. When I, when I went to buy my, my BMW, um, I decided to, I, I knew I was going to buy it, but I said, uh, before I sign on the dotted line, I need to see the comparable vehicles just to, for my peace of mind to make sure that I'm getting the vehicle that I'm going to be happy with. And I went to the Porsche store in Oakville and I was driving a rental car because my car was written off. And I walked in, so I pulled up in this, whatever it was, a Ford Focus or something like that. And I was on my off time and was lazy that morning and, and just wore a regular t-shirt and some shorts and flip-flops. I'm and, drooling already over here. I see a rental pull up and a guy come in with free time. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Must have money, I guess. Um <laughs> And I walked into the store and there was really nobody around. So this was like almost two years ago now. And the salesperson walks up to me and his suit cost more than the car that I drove in on, right? Like really sharply dressed, but over the top. His Ferragamo shoes cost more than my whole wardrobe. And... uh I said, uh, I told him why I was there. And he said, oh, this is, this is better than the X5. The Porsche, uh, what's their SUV, the Cayenne or whatever. He said, this, this is better than the X5. You drive it and, and you'll see why. I said, okay, if you say so, let's go for a drive. Uh, didn't even ask me any kind of qualifying questions or rapport building. Didn't ask what I do for a living. Nothing. Let's just go out for a drive. Okay, let's go out for a drive. I was underwhelmed. You know, it's a very expensive SUV. I always thought, wow, the Porsche SUV is so nice and it must be quick and comfortable and all this. And I was totally underwhelmed. And when we got back, uh, he said, so, so what do you think? And I said, well, kind of underwhelmed. I, I still like the X5 better. And he's, he looked at me and gave me like a face of disgust. And he said, well, I guess you're just going to have to spend more money and go up to the, to the turbo model. And then I said, at this well, point, I'm, had he built any value in the vehicle? Nothing, nothing, zero, nothing, zero. Absolutely. He just kept on talking about all the packages that were available and how much those packages cost. <laughs> and he did he the said, Porsche will sell itself. And then terms and conditions are agreeable. We can buy today. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And I said, well, then you're going to have to upgrade to the turbo. And I said, well, how much does that cost? And he said, whatever it was, 157000 or something like that. And I said, there's no offense, but there's no way I'm spending $157,000 on a vehicle. And, and then he asked me, well, what do you do for a living? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, said, I said, you know what? This is probably not going to work. I... Uh, I, I made a mistake uh, wasting my time, your time today. I really apologize. Thank, thank you, anyways. Uh, and and I left. I I literally ended the conversation. Didn't didn't respond to him. What I do for a living? He doesn't know like who I am, how much I make, whatever. Right? Like he just prejudged and uh, found it. He found it offensive that I didn't like the vehicle. All right. Well, there you go. Somebody easily because I've always admired those vehicles. Always. Uh, I had the Volkswagen Tourag, which is the lower class version of that. And I really enjoyed it. If he wanted to, I was prepared to spend the money and he could have upgraded me into that turbo model. I could have been a sucker. Um, but no, no rapport building, no salesmanship, you know, didn't, didn't tell me anything about, you know, the, the vehicle and, and whatnot. And then when he asked me after I said, I'm not spending that kind of money on a vehicle, what do you do for a living? I was out. Peace. Peace groovy, buddy. <laughs>